Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Claudia Dean and today we have with us the beautiful Georgia. Georgia hasn't been on my channel yet, but here she is. And Georgia trains in Brisbane at Queensland National Ballet. Today we're doing a brand new concept of video and I'm really excited. I don't know how I thought of this. Do you remember how I thought of this? No. no. It was like in a lesson randomly and I was like, oh, Georgia, I've got the best idea. How about if I set you like really difficult ballet steps or combinations and I'm only allowed to give you one tip and then we've got to see if she can do it or not. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be setting Georgia some really hard ballet steps, giving you one tip, and you've basically just got to do it. And then it's like maybe a pass or fail situation, and then at the end we can see if you pass or fail. I'm going to fail. <laughs> no, you won't. You won't. Georgia's an amazing dancer. You've probably seen her on my Instagram. Actually, what's your Instagram? Georgia.ballerina. Georgia.ballerina. So make sure you follow her and make sure you post some more ballet content. And yep. I will. I'm not active on that. <laughs> and you know the drill. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I think let's just get straight into it. <laughs> oh, also, by the way, Georgia is wearing our ocean leotard from my signature collection because I know lots of you are going to ask that. So, so Georgia, the first one, we're going to start easy, okay? We're going to start easy. The first one is... Three double pirouettes from fourth in a row. So you can pick your good side. So you basically do double turn, land in fourth, double turn, land in fourth, double turn, land in fourth. Now, I can only give you one tip. Don't worry, I'm not going to sabotage you. I'm actually going to give you something that's going to help. My tip would be when you go double pirouette and you land back here to make sure that your pelvis, so right here, goes in between the feet. That's my tip. Okay, you ready? You got one shot. I only, oh no. <laughs> She's doing like an Irish skate back there. <laughs> Hang on, I'm just gonna try that. I'm so excited. Okay, let's go. And, da da da, pelvis, da da da, pelvis, da da da. Oh! That is for sure a pass. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so, G, Georgia G. The next one, okay, I'm kind of getting a lot harder here. Backwards fuetes times eight. So you know how you do forward fuetes like this? Well, just normal on day or fuetes like that. I basically want you to do them backwards, but I'm thinking to get into it, you have to do on and on turn, down, round, down, round. Yeah, like that. <laughs> I was like thinking of these all last night. I'm like, yeah. My number one tip would be to releve really fast to second. I feel like if you go slow there, like if you were to go, duh, 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 you're going to get undone. You've got to go duh, 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 really quick. Okay, so releve quick and second. You have to do eight. Drum roll, everyone. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to put on some music. Let's go! Go! Two! Leg higher! Go! Go! Keep going! Keep going! Keep going! Good! So you passed! Whee! So, just so we can correct that a little bit, I reckon where you went undone was your leg was way too low, derriere. So, when it's lower, it starts dragging you in weird directions, like backwards and sideways and all that. So, if you could have your leg at 90, it probably wouldn't drag you as much. Just try one. Go. Yes! That's sort of the idea. Okay. Right, now, the next one. Okay, we're going back to a little bit easy. So I don't think this is harder than what you just did. But anyway, we'll see. Maybe for some people it would be. You're going to try and do a grand jeté on both sides without a prep. So you know how we always do gallop and a step, jump. You're literally just going to go step, jump. And then you have a little break. And then you do left side, step, jump. And we're going to see if it hits split. My tip for this step would be to be on your supporting leg 
when you actually step prepare here. Don't be forward, don't be back, just be on it. And then you're going to lead up with your knee and then you go extend out. So it ends up looking like down, extend with the knee up. Okay. That's my number one tip for that. Go. Okay. Do right side first. And da. Way! That was definitely a pass. You're not going to fail any of these. Okay. Oh, is it? Okay, well, that's great then. Right, let's go. And go. Oh, fabulous. Okay, awesome. Pass again. So the next one, some people would find this hard. It'll be interesting to see how you go. So basically you're gonna try and hold your leg in each position. So Devon, second, and then Derriere for slow eight counts. So you're gonna go, and one, and two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. You can double pay it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just on the left side. My tip for this step, for holding your leg out in each position, I'm gonna say, it's pretty obvious, but I feel as though everything, like not just your hips, but like your upper body has to be on your supporting side when you're trying to hold it for that long. If there's like an ounce of you that's like in the middle, I feel like that's probably when you're gonna get undone and go that way. So you just wanna make sure when you prepare, Hips are over, upper body's over, everything's on your supporting side. I'm being nice, but it's about to get harder. But let's find some music. <laughs> could have got your leg a little bit higher. Show me a different play in a second. Go. You were definitely playing it safe. And go up. Come on, get it up, get it up, get it up. Yes! That's it. So that probably would have made it harder. All right, it's about to get real. It's about to get hard. Okay, the last ones I have here are all, I think, hard. Right, Fuete's changing spot. Have you done these before? Okay, right, so we're gonna see if you pass or fail. But basically, you're gonna go fuete one and two and three and four and change, two, three, four, change, one, two, three, four, change, one, two, three, four. And as a little coder, I want you to go one, two, three, four, land. So we're adding on that last little bit. Okay, so basically you're doing four, 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 one, 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 land. My tip for changing spot on fuetes would be when you finish your fourth fuete, find the second spot or the third spot or the fourth spot, depending which one you're doing, straight away. So don't go spot four and then try and change it here. Try and go the end. So it's almost like you're doing like one and a quarter turns on the last one. Does that make sense? That's my tip for that. Right, let's go. Change. 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 Now Coda, go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> okay, good. Well done. The high five. Okay, so look, my verdict is you did it. However, unfortunately, I'm going to give you a fail just because, you know, the last spots, like the d yeah. d to me, they weren't clear enough. They were. By the end, I was going. <laughs> <laughs> if I had just set you to do the four, 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 that, I feel like you would have been fine. 
but it's those last spots. Try and do the last spots again and do the tip that I said. So spot straight away, straight away. Go for it. Go, go, spot, spot. Yeah, see how much that helps? So make sure you do that. Right, so the next one is eight crom fuetes into 16 normal fuetes. So basically, you're gonna go five, <laughs> five six, seven, and one, two, eight of these, okay? Then, you're gonna go bore five, six, seven, there, double, 16 fuetes. Like you just did, no changing spot though. You'll be fine, you'll be fine. Now my tip is, for the fuetes, there's two separate tips. For fuetes, your supporting knee needs to lock. Can you just do a fuete for me and just show me locking up your supporting knee? Go, and, yeah, it's when you turn, so from here, when you releve turn, that's when you need to lock it. Go, lock it, yeah, good girl, so make sure you do that. And my next thing is, for your Grand Fuetes, I feel what you're probably, or what most people might miss, is 90 degrees here, then you do your Fuete round, then you've got to keep your leg up into Retire at 90 degrees, and then go back up again. A lot of people end up going too low here, and then too low here, you've got to keep it up. You'll be fine. Okay, right, let's go. Knee up. Bore, and bore, and place. Go. Three, five, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, yes! <laughs> Whoa, high five. Okay, I definitely think you passed that. I think that's a solid effort, seriously, that's hard. I swear that's in a ballet, I'm trying to think which one it is. It's in a ballet somewhere. I think it's in like um, one of those pas de deux, like it's not in like a full length, like Sleeping Beauty, Swan Lake Ballet, or Don Quixote Ballet. I feel like it's in like a part of dirt somewhere. I'll try and remember where it is. But look, if you get that, you'll be able to do it. <laughs> okay, so our next one is a menage. So over here, I've just posed a turns, right? Mm -hmm. But you've got to go around the room twice. So you're going to go pose a one, pose a two, pose a three, pose a four, one, two, three, Four, change. One, two, three, four, change. One, two, three, four. Repeat. One, like that. So you end up doing 32 pose turns. Okay? Shake it all out. <laughs> okay, so our tip, our tip for this one is when you come around for the second set, because I feel like that's the time when you're going to be really tired and dizzy, try and actually use your left elbow a lot more than what you think. Yeah, because when you get tired, probably um, what's going to happen is this side will start like lagging behind a little bit. But if you're always on top of the left elbow coming in and in, you'll find you'll still have the power to get around another set. Okay, that's my tip. <laughs> Step out. One. Go. Go. Step straight across. Now down. One, two, three. Oh. Good. I actually think you passed that. The only thing that happened was you kind of like lost your spot towards the end, so you weren't doing like your four, 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 four which I reckon made it harder. So if you were to like stick to it, that's why I was like this in the corner, because if you were to stick to it, I think it'd be a lot easier. But it was good, otherwise you passed. Yay. Oh. 
<laughs> now, the last one we have, I think is pretty hard. It's kind of like a gymnast move, to be honest, but let's see how you go. It is a ponche doing a full 360 all the way around as a pivot. So you go, da, da, ponche down, then you've got to pivot at your own pace, but you've got to go full 360 all the way around. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now, my tip for this would be to not let your hip, your left hip, go in front of the supporting leg, because that's where I think you'll actually get undone. What you want to do is always lead with your VMO, so this little muscle here, that's going to be twisting around, that's going to be what actually takes you around. So whatever you do, just don't allow that to go this way. Okay, let's do this. Wait, so is it just one turn? One turn. Yeah. Oh, this way. You can do a high poncho than that. Let's <laughs> go. Okay. Higher. Go. Oh. <laughs> you did so well though, seriously. <laughs> Two pivots. Two pivots. No, okay, I'm looking at the whole thing though. Like we did eight crazy steps and you pass six of them. I think that's really good. It could have been much worse. Apparently she's saying she wants to give me a tip. Oh no, a challenge and a tip. Oh, God, okay. okay, right, here goes nothing. Okay, so I was, spoke, I was speaking to my whole family about this so I could pick you the meanest one. Okay, so your challenge is yeah. aren't you cut? Okay. See, so and open. Yeah. Brush through first, assemble four times. Okay, so on your cut. One, two, three, four. Okay. Four times. But then, it's right to do it to the left? Yeah. So then, change direction? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Four times. So that, yeah. is that considered one or is that considered two? That's considered two. Okay. Actually, oh, maybe that should be considered one. No, that's considered one. Considered one. Okay, right. Should I do it in Nike? Yeah. Guys, you don't want me to take my shoes off and wear stripy socks. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, I wore literally the worst socks today. Um, no, I'm really excited. I'm so confident though. I'm like, I'm gonna get this. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Wait. I need to give you a tip first. Oh yeah, that's right. What is it? Your tip is always remember to smile. <laughs> Are you ready? So much for watching did you have fun today yes it was so much fun i love this video georgia i think definitely passed she got six out of eight which is very good didn't we say three out of eight would be a fail yes yeah so six out of eight you're passing with flying colors so it's just great to see how many high fives have we given in this video oh, <laughs> it's like take count of how many high fives we've given. Yeah, make sure you try the challenge at home and let us know in the comments below what mark you get out of eight. Anyway, thank you all so much for the love and I'll see you in my next video.